Kansas has been an automatic win for the Sooners for a quarter century. 18 straight victories over the Jayhawks going into this showdown in Lawrence. The last time OU lost to Kansas was way back in 1997 right on that field. This year's edition of the series though, definitely not an automatic win. This one was an absolute thriller instead. A rainy and cold day in Lawrence and the Sooners get off to a bad start, a very bad start. OU's first possession, third play of the drive, Dylan Gabriel intercepted. Mello Dotson takes it 37 yards for a score. Kansas up seven zip. Oklahoma now down 14 nothing in the second quarter. Gabriel running this time instead of throwing seven yard touchdown. OU down 14 seven. Right after that, it's a weather delay because of lightning. The delay lasted about an hour. Didn't bother the Sooners. Tawi Walker with a two yard TD run to tie the score right after the delay. Then after Kansas muffed the kickoff and OU recovered, Dylan Gabriel with another touchdown run. Sooners now on top 21 14. Third quarter, Oklahoma now down 26-21, but Gavin Sawchuk puts them right back on top. That was not a fumble. He crossed the goal line first, Oklahoma up 27-26. Fourth quarter, OU trailing again until Gabriel runs tough into the end zone. Oklahoma now on top 33-32. The Jayhawks respond with a drive in the final minutes. The Sooners just let Devin Neal score here to give Kansas the lead with 55 seconds left so that OU will now get one last chance to win it. Three seconds left. OU has the ball on the Kansas 23 yard line. Need a touchdown to win it. Gabriel's pass incomplete. The Jayhawks upset the Sooners 38-33 for their first win over Oklahoma since 1997. The fans rush the field to celebrate. Great win for Kansas. Tough loss for the Sooners. We're not going to be defined by any one win or any loss. We got a lot still out in front of us. This one uh, hurts. It stings. We got punished for again a lack of details and discipline, and just me having our guys ready to play at a high level. Not a good feeling. Uh, we're not performing to the level that we need to be performing at. And you know, just stay together. Keep our heads up and you know, just keep pushing forward. Oklahoma's first undefeated season since 2000 will now have to wait at least another year. The Sooners, though, are still in good shape for the race for a Big 12 title. Still at the top of the standings and a log jam of other teams with only one league loss. Now, OU has to immediately turn its attention to its next opponent, Oklahoma State, next weekend in Stillwater. The last Bedlam game for the foreseeable future. In Lawrence, covering news that matters, I'm Nathan Thompson. Fox 23 Sports.